In closing, I want to go back to the challenge that Larry Fink is throwing out to CEOs at this point of time. Larry Fink is an investor. He cares about making money. That's what people pay him for. He's not a NGO executive. He is not a do-gooder in the traditional sense. He's not asking firms to become saints and give up all the money that they have made. In fact, he's saying something very differently. And I would argue that it's very much in line with the humanistic perspective that I was explaining to you. He's suggesting that companies need to reinvent themselves, clarify the social purpose that they have. Why? Because we as a species are asking why. Why do companies exist? And just making money is not good enough. So there needs to be a higher social purpose. Is a company, for example, invested in solving some of the environmental challenges we're facing? Tesla, for example, at this point of time, is seen as one of the few companies that is actively addressing this challenge. And while it could be run very poorly in the traditional financial sense and making a lot of losses, people still trust that this kind of organization is making a meaningful difference and they want to support it. There are other types of organizations that are addressing this social this need for social purpose that Larry Fink points out. And they are seen as guiding images, guiding lights for the CEOs, as Larry Fink points out. Current CEOs have trouble getting out of the economistic image of who we are as human beings and what business organizations are for. They think that they need to make money, and that is their main point. What Larry Fink suggests is that you can make more money and better money and money in the long term if you do have the trust of the people around you. If you do have society's uh, benefit, uh, if, if, if you have society's support, and if you believe that the employees support you, that the customers support you, and that all stakeholders would want to support and be part of the success that you create. This is a challenge to current thinking, as I laid out in the very beginning. This is a challenge that we're going to explore more in this course. But Larry Fink suggests that this is an important challenge for every CEO. So if you want to become CEO, this is critical for you to understand. What I'm offering here with this final slide is that this four drive model, the humanistic model, is a better metaphor, a better image of how we can manage ourselves and others in the context of business and beyond. It is not science, it is more of a metaphor. We use metaphors and images and experience to understand ourselves and others. This is why we focused on this narrative notion. Okay? The four drive model, however, is scientifically grounded and can serve as a map to navigate individual, group, organizational, societal well-being and or societal performance. It does so because I think it is much more accurate of who we truly are. Therefore, leaders, managers, and teammates that want to increase, for example, employee engagement or societal trust should focus on satisfying their and others' four drives in balance.